You know, um, when you study strategy, they, they say you, when you've got various strategy options, pick the 20% items that are going to give you 80% value straight away. So maybe from looking at the numbers, what are the areas that will make the most difference if we focus our energy in a few things? <laughs> You know, I, I, I just count, and that's <laughs> all, so, <laughs> and give the numbers. I, I think what has really, I found very vexing and very difficult in government is, uh, and, uh, let, let me capture the point. I mean, uh, in 2011, we were sitting at a cabinet, La Hotla. I don't know whether what I say is uh, now violating what was said in cabinet. Uh, but, see, the president was sitting there and said, you know, when we were growing up, we used to spend frogs. And uh, the problem with frogs is that uh, they jump at different points in time. <laughs> and they don't pull. And you can't go anywhere. Yeah. I mean, he was expressing a frustration yeah. that has been there, is still current, that unless we have a, a systematized process of planning, the NDP is a big vision. We don't have a, a plan, and I'm saying that uh, for us. And you see, we also spend uh, locusts yes. ourselves when we were growing up. But what you do is uh, you, you amputate the rear, the hen legs, yeah. the ones that make them fly. Mm. And then they pull. Yeah. So there are too many hind legs and frogs in the state which have to be tamed mm. so that we can pull. And uh, one of the things that uh, we are putting on the table uh, so that we can really start thinking. Uh, are these tools that I'm talking about, I mean, the supply and use table, which is there, I mean, we use that uh, as Statistics South Africa as a national account to test whether the national account balances. You transform that uh, into an input-output table, which we do do. But hardly anybody in government looks at that. It's a very frustrating situation. Mm -hmm. And you cannot plan unless you go through that, 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 that anchor which is a supply and use table and an input output table. Obviously, you have to add other things to it. Right. But that is the central cog. Mm -hmm. And if you don't put that cog in the middle of your plan, forget it. Because you do not know what your inputs are, what your outputs are, and how you frame your industrial strategy. Okay. So, so we need to go through that process. And that process will actually allow us to predict, because that's the basis for prediction. Mm -hmm. And you can only plan when you know how to predict. Okay. And once you have predicted, then you can prescribe and say, this is what we are going to do. Prescription, difficult, because the life changes. Right. So you must adapt. Now, our work in South Africa has been no prediction, but an attempt to prescribe, to prescribe and adapt to something that doesn't exist. And that's why we are chasing our tails all the time. Okay. Yes. All right. So, uh, <laughs> cut off the hind legs, tame the locust, and tame the frogs as a starting point. I think that's, I'm going to remember that actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So, what's those? I mean, you did a really good job there, honestly. I promise you, it's the first time I've seen grab a bit of this and, and take it. And I think maybe partly because of the pictures. But um, <laughs> what's, what's that 20% thing that we focus on that's going to give us 80% of the value, do you think? It's collaboration between the spheres and within the spheres of government. Right. If we just did that, and it sounds like it's so difficult. It's mm. so easy. But it is so difficult. And it's literally, it's probably harder in a way than, than walking to the yeah, moon. But yeah, it's also... Yeah something that's that when you come down to it it's so easy yeah. and i i can't tell you why we haven't managed to get it right there's some areas where we've got it right mm. you can get it right on a piecemeal basis but we never seem to get it right in terms of how do we make that happen i i um, i don't have that but it, that is what we have to strive for mm. because if we're all oxen pulling in the same direction with a the cart then we'll get mm. there but if we're all pulling in different directions yeah. we won't that's the one thing. And the other thing is this, this issue of, of politics and corruption that are just absolutely destroying so many spheres of government. And that is so, so worrying. Um, yeah. 
Sorry, and a third thing, if yes. I can have one. Is it, is the, I suppose, is the, is the counterpoint to that, is just the, the power of continuity in time. You know, you have a municipal manager in a municipality, they don't even have to be the best municipal manager, but if you just give them time and support and the ability to carry on, they get stuff done. Yeah. We're yeah. so quick to remove people, we're so quick to say, that's the wrong one, we need a new one yeah. in. And that, that changeover is so disruptive mm. to the country. Yeah, it's almost like uh, managing Bafana Bafana, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sheila. Thanks very much. Uh, well, that's intergovernmental relations <laughs> and planning are covered, and those are two critical areas. Um, an area that um, I would really uh, like to see, and, and, and in COG2 uh, generally, is um, much more emphasis on um, the creation of opportunity for uh, small businesses in formal sector activity. So that in municipal spaces, uh, there is space given uh, for people to start creating a better livelihood for themselves. And um, also the other thing, the, the creation of a livable city or a livable space uh, just can require small steps in terms of uh, places to go running, creative, recreational, public green space, um, uh, places where the youth can play games, soccer, uh, people can go running. There's just sort of quality of life issues that even if uh, the environment is, is tough, um, there is a, a place for people to congregate together to meet. And... Um, you know, I just want to uh, name drop France for a minute because um, when I was in a, a site visit of a new uh, social housing development um, on the edge of the city, mm. um, the importance given to the green space, uh, and you could see just people are just loving the fact that all around their housing is, is, is uh, gardens, vegetable gardens, tennis courts, walkways, jogging paths, and it doesn't really cost a lot of money, but it makes such a difference mm. to the quality of life. People's Thanks. souls as well. Trevor, final word? Yes, thank you. Um, if, there would, if it was the 20%, I yeah. would say that is, should, municipalities should focus on. There are two things that they have absolute control over, mm. and that is spatial planning. It's constitutionally prescribed, and it's taken to court, and that's a local function. Secondly, is roads, uh, water, electricity, infrastructure uh, in particular are the two areas that really should focus on. And if we can get uh, through cooperation with uh, the other spheres of government to get them to, f to say this is what municipalities should do, then uh, we would actually get some of the things done. Because <laughs> the problem is that some of the big municipalities, uh, they you know, national government doesn't worry about some mm. of the, mm. uh, the areas that they mm. should worry about and they leave it to local municipalities to do it and they then lose focus on mm. their key, key focus areas. And I think that's the, the key question. Okay, fantastic. Much. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand. Um, I think I figured it out. What do we do with our former MMs? We promote them to cabinet because they know what's behind and what they need to fix. Isn't it? Isn't that, that's the simplest way to fix this.